When anger arises, it is so difficult for me to watch this feeling instead of throwing this anger on others. Would you please speak about the art of watching? Everything that I have been saying to you consists of the art of watching from different dimensions, from different aspects, from different angles. But my whole teaching can be reduced to a single word, watching. Because that is the only thing in you which is not part of the mind. That is the only thing in you which does not belong to you, but belongs to existence itself. For example, I can watch my hand. That means I am not the hand. Whatever you can watch, you are not. This is a simple arithmetic. The watcher is bound to be separate from the object that he is watching. You can watch your body from outside and from inside too. You can close your eyes and you can watch your body from the inside. It will be dark and it will not be so visible and so clear, but still you can feel many things. You can hear the heart beating. If you are really very silent, you can even hear the sound of running of your blood. You are not the body. You can watch your mind, all its thoughts, howsoever fine, are available to your watching. You can see the subtlest expression of the mind. That makes one thing clear, that you are not the mind either. It is a little more difficult, but not impossible, to watch your feelings. What the poets call the heart, your emotions, your moods, which are the most subtlest things in your personality. A little sadness, a little joy, are perhaps nothing but only an indifference. But even indifference is a certain attitude. Watching goes on becoming more and more deep. Beyond your moods, there is nothing to watch, but only silence. In that silence, 
a great miracle happens. The energy that has been watching turns over upon itself. 